Suppose one painter can paint the entire house in 12 hours, and the second painter takes eight hours to paint the same house or house that's about the same size. How long would it take the painters together to paint the house? Pause the video and put your what you think in the chat. How long do you think it would take? We'll look into why rational equations? Why are we talking about rational equations? Let's look at this formula again. All right. One painter can paint the entire house in 12 hours. Second painter takes eight hours to paint a similar sized house. So how long would it take the painters together to paint the house? One painter, first painter can do one twelfth of the job by himself in one hour. Second painter, how long could he, how much of the job could he do in one hour? He can do one eighth of the job, okay? So the question is, how much of the job can they do together in one hour? But well, you add those two, you get five over 24. Okay, so together, they can do five 24ths of the job in one hour. So we're dealing with fractions, adding fractions here. Now, what if we look? We don't know how long it's gonna take them to finish the job as a total time. So we'll just call that T. But we do know that in one hour, however long it takes to finish the job, they have done one teeth of the job. That tells us, since we know what that is, that five over 24 is the same as one teeth of the whole job. So here's the choice. We got two ways to solve this equation. Since it's a proportion, we can solve it by cross multiplying, get five times T, our means and extremes, 1 times 24, 24, then divide 24 by 5, and we get 4.8, which is hours, which is 4 hours and 48 minutes. Or, we can set the problem up like this. T over 12 is the fraction amount that one painter has done in an hour, and T over 8 is the fraction amount that another power has done in an hour, or and that's all. And if you could do that, you would, that that equals to the whole job. If we knew what t was, then that would equal to one. So uh, we can solve this rational equation by clearing it of fractions. We can multiply by the lowest common denominator, which is called the LCD, which is 24. 24 is the smallest number that both 12 and 8 will go into. So look what happens if you multiply everything by 24. Then the 12 is going to divide into the 24 two times. The 8 is going to go into the 24 three times. And you're going to left multiply 2 by 2 by t and 3 by t. The denominators are completely gone, wiped out. All right, there wasn't a fraction on the on the left, on the right, so you end up with 2t plus 3t equals 24. 5t, same thing we got before, same result. So today, we're going to learn how to solve rational equations algebraically by multiplying by the LCD.